to get over there, maybe? Can I do that? I have like one torch left. That's a stumper. Where it says she must have taken them down here. And yet when I get down here, she's not here. Nor is there any sign of her. Unless it's at the bottom of that pool of water. I mean, I suppose that's possible. Right? Like... Or behind there. But they said that it could be played single player. That you didn't need... Um... Yeah. Huh. <sighs> well, I feel smart. <laughs> Shoot, and I hear nasty things again. down here. I have a lot of torches. So I can't light it up. Which is really scary and annoying. Oh, and I hear nasty things. Okay, let's go down here. Uh oh. Quick, fight them off and check that chest. <gasps> oh! I get to keep my inventory anyway. Okay. Okay, well now that I... 
Now that daylight up here. Let's take some of these back down with me. that stairway down. Okay. I get the feeling it was over that way. these things make. Wow. May 18th, TA-1000. We are hopelessly trapped in this ruin. It seems the goblins have found a way even here. They have dug deep indeed. We underestimated them. I hope some of the women and children escaped. At least the city itself is now mostly emptied, and they can fight this hopeless war without citizen casualties. Looks like we will be the last innocent to die, trapped in the tunnels of this abandoned outpost. The goblins are close now. I can hear them scurrying through the tunnels ahead. There is no way out. Oh, my husband, how I have failed you. You examine the corpse and find a shiny key grasped tightly in her hand. It seems important. Oh, objectives continue towards the Dwarven City. Oh. You evil, evil creatures. Take that! And that! That's for the... Huh! That's for the dwarven lady! Hmm! I really wanted to find her alive. Mean map makers. Chest. Okay, that totally does not make up for it. But I guess we need to continue on towards the Dwarven City. <sighs> now, how do I get out of here without dying? I think I just went around in a circle. Yeah. Okay. Looking for the stairway out. 
it should be over here. Yes. Okay. Should I take some of my torches with me? Because I don't know that I plan to come back here. And it just seems to make good sense to take them with me. And it's night again, but I did. Did I not find a bed somewhere? I did. Oh, but once I place it, I can't take it away. Alrighty, well then. Fair enough, good to know. And again, we'll take back some of my torches. guess we keep following the road wherever it leads. That's part of the ruins, I guess. to go up there. Oh, Pakua. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything up there worth going up there for? It doesn't really look like it. Well, maybe. You never know. I don't think I can make it up there because I think that's like two blocks. So, how would we get up there? Was there a way in? No? Was there a way up there over here? And I just missed it? That's exactly what it was! that so I guess we're back off on our search oops Mel Diron Istari over here my captain Sadron wishes to speak to you at our camp oh oh there okay Which way's your camp? Is that it over there? Whoa, that's big pickaxes. Okay, so your camp is over here. Let's go see Sadron. He was on our first book. He was one of our first objectives. Read note. Okay, what'd you use Sadron? Too much stuff. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Sadron's Herald. I'm honored to meet you, Astari. Luckily, we spotted you before you entered the city. From what we have gathered, there is a war going on. Two wars, to be precise. The two dwarf clans are on the brink of civil war. While at the same, oh, excuse me. While at the same time, attempting to fight the goblins who have steadily begun to mute, multiply deep within the mountains. I'm sure Sirden has told you we tend not to get involved in these issues, but Elrond insisted. As you can see, the dwarves are leaving the city. This is not a good sign. If the two clans cannot band together and drive out these goblins, they may both be defeated and fall. 
then this problem would fully become ours. Once you get in the city, see if you can find the king. You need to convince him to give up this feud. Objectives. Follow the valley to the dwarf city and find the dwarven king. Okay, again, it's objectives that I'm going to forget if I do not keep it. Huh. Huh. Alright, so we go back to following this road. I came down from up there, so we're going this way. Alright. That's kind of impressive. That's very impressive. Okay, following the road. Ouch! Oops. Following off the road. Wow, that's beautiful. I mean, those mountains look so real. Wow. 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 I know, that's all I can say is like, wow. There's a tunnel here that we go up. What is that? Huh. Oh, that's cool. Kind of a meandering road, but it's all good. Anything interesting over here? What is that? Looks like a little hole of some sort. Alright, back to the road. Meandling it is. And there's a pig over there on the cliff. Alrighty. Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, that is truly impressive. Is that a button? It is, too. Does it do anything? It doesn't seem to. It's just a decorative button. Well, this side doesn't have one. Does it? No. So I wonder what it's for. Huh. Interesting. Eight? Big eight? Or maybe just a pattern, but... Huh. Oh, wow. My goodness. What an amazing sight. Except, why is it so eerily quiet? I know you'd think there'd be, like, some dwarves around or something. Or there's a big hole over there or something. I wonder what that is. Oh, wow. I don't think I can jump off here, can I? No, I can't. Good. <laughs> big tower over there. Ooh, big bridgey archway thingy over there, and some big building over there. Wow. 